In this video, we'll explore ways to enhance your browsing experience. While I'll mainly focus on tips for Google Chrome, most of these steps will work on almost all Chromium-based browsers, and some, like keyboard shortcuts, even apply to Firefox. We'll begin by adding some useful shortcuts. Open your Chrome browser. First, let's add a home button. Before that, open a website, let's say YouTube. Now, imagine you want to go back to your default tab. What would you do? You might open a new tab and then close the current one, but there's a simpler option. Click the menu button in the top right corner, then click on more tools and choose customize Chrome. Click the toolbar option and enable the home button toggle. Now you can easily go to your default tab without needing to open a new tab and close your active one. Let's add a few more useful shortcuts. Click the three dots in the top right corner, go to More Tools, and select Customize Chrome. Then click on Toolbar. And here, enable Search with Google Lens, Translate, and Create QR Code Toggle. There are more shortcuts you can explore, but we'll stick with these three for now. Close the window and let's see how these shortcuts work. If you're reading an article or browsing the internet and come across an image you want more information about, simply use Google Lens. Click the Google Lens icon and drag over the area you want to search. Next, we have the Translate shortcut. While Google usually shows a Translate option when you visit a website in a different language, sometimes it doesn't pop up. But if you've enabled this toggle, you can easily translate the entire web page into any language you choose with just one click. Next up is the QR code shortcut. If you're on a web page and want to open it on your phone, just click the QR code button. A QR code will pop up instantly for the page you're on. Scan it with your phone and the same page will open right away. Simple and super handy. Next, let's set up a default zoom level. If you often find yourself adjusting the zoom when opening websites, this is common for users on different operating systems like Linux, you can fix it easily. Click the three dots, go to Chrome settings, and type Zoom in the search bar. Scroll down to find the Page Zoom option, set it to whatever works best for your display, and you won't have to adjust it every time you open a website. If you want to boost your privacy and security, go to Chrome settings and open the Privacy and Security section. Click on Security option and enable Enhanced Protection. Then, scroll down and toggle on Always Use Secure Connections. This ensures Chrome warns you before visiting any site that doesn't meet its security standards. Next, you can customize site permissions according to your needs or uses. In Chrome Settings, search for Permissions and click on Site Settings. Here, you can control what each site can access. For example, if you don't use location-based features, you can disable location access entirely. You can do the same for microphone and camera permissions. If your browser theme keeps switching with your device theme, but you prefer it to always stay in dark mode, here's how you can lock it in. Click the three dots, go to More Tools, then select Customize Chrome. From there, you can choose the browser theme, light, dark, or match the system theme. If you want it always dark, just select the dark theme. However, some websites may still appear in light mode, which can be tough on your eyes, especially in a dark room or at night. To fix this, type chrome colon double slash flags in the address bar and hit enter. Search for auto dark mode for web content and enable it. After that, restart your browser to see the effects. Now all websites will automatically display in dark mode. Next, if you find Chrome's default clunky scroll bar outdated, here's how you can make it look better. Type Chrome colon double slash flags in the address bar and hit enter and search for overlay scroll bars and enable this. 
Now, reload the browser to apply the changes. Once it's reloaded, you'll notice a sleeker scroll bar that expands when you hover over it, making scrolling easier. Let me know in the comments if small tweaks like this matter to you, or if you usually just ignore them. If that doesn't suit your style, you can also try the Fluent Overlay Scroll Bars, inspired by Microsoft's Fluent design. It gives your scroll bar a more polished, Windows-like appearance. If you don't like the default tab that opens in Chrome, you can replace it with a better-looking extension. Here's how. Head to the Chrome Web Store and search for Material You New Tab. There are many new tab extensions out there, but for this video, we'll focus on this one. If you already know about it, feel free to skip ahead. If not, just click Add to Chrome, then Add Extension. Now, when you open a new tab, you'll see a fresh, completely redesigned page. This extension is highly customizable. You can add personalized text, manage shortcuts, and even get Google app shortcuts with icons that match the extension's theme. Even if you add new shortcuts, you can turn on the adaptive theme to match their icons with the extension's color, which makes the whole page look more polished and put together. The extension offers tons of features. You can enter a custom location to view weather info for that city. It also gives the option to change the language and choose from various color themes. If you change the theme but the browser's top bar doesn't match, here's a quick fix. Click the three dots, go to More Tools, and hit Customize Chrome. From there, you can adjust the theme to match the extension style. Here's the final look of our browser. This extension works on almost any Chromium-based browser like Brave or Edge, and it's also available for Firefox. If you use a different new tab extension, let me know which one you use. Now, let's talk about some useful Chrome shortcuts that can save you a lot of time. You might already know some of them, but I'm sure you'll find a few new ones too. Say you have a tab open in full screen mode, but you need to switch to another tab. How would you do that? Most people would exit full screen first and then switch tabs. But there's a quicker way. Just press Ctrl plus tab, and you can cycle through your open tabs without leaving full screen mode. It's that simple. If you ever close a tab by accident, don't worry, you can quickly reopen it with a simple shortcut. Just press Ctrl plus Shift plus T on your keyboard, and your last closed tab will come back. If you closed multiple tabs, keep pressing the shortcut to restore them one by one. If you often need to clear your browser history, just press Ctrl plus Shift plus Delete on your keyboard. This will open the option to delete your browsing history, cached files, and other site data. It's a super handy shortcut to quickly clean up your browser whenever you need. If you're browsing your browser and need to search or type something in the address bar, instead of finding your cursor first, moving it to the address bar, and then start typing. Simply press Ctrl plus L. Your address bar will be activated instantly, and you can start typing anything right away. If your internet is always working, which is great, but that means you might never see Chrome's Dino game. But hey, you don't have to turn off your internet just to play it. Just type Chrome colon double slash in the address bar, hit enter, and there you go. The Dino is back, ready to run. That's all for this video. I hope you found it helpful and learned something new. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, and if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.